excuse me, are you, are you, are you Mordecai from... One moment, young man. Hello, Esther. Um, it's, a, it's Uncle Mordecai. I just wanted to see if you're okay. I know. You've had a long line all day. One of the longest lines in the building. I'm sure you're having a good time. Do you need anything? Do you need some food or water? Are you sure? Do you need a snack? Okay. Who's there beside you? No kidding. Does he need anything? Are you sure? Yes, I know. But you know how I am. Okay, I'll try. I love you. My apologies, my friend. I wanted to check on my Cousin. niece. Your niece? You mean Queen Esther? Oh, yes. She's the one who has the long line down there. Did you know she's sitting beside King David? No, I haven't been down that long, long way. I've been making the rounds with lesser known heroes like you. Please, I'm no hero. No hero? First you say the life of the king. Then after hearing of a plot to murder your own people, you convince Esther to do something? No, no. That's Esther's story, not mine. How can you be so humble about that? Why should I brag? I don't know. I don't do these things for fortune or glory. I'm here to serve. That was that strong of fun. Yes, it was. I wanted to make sure she was comfortable. Can I get you some water or some food? No, no. Uncle Mordecai, she said, you relax and have a good time. That's the most amazing thing ever. What is? Me wanting to take care of Esther or me a Bible hero? Or knowing how to use a phone. Well, the first one, well, both actually, but the first one is, believe it or not, even more amazing. Listen, my friend, what's your name? Ernie. Ernie, we were put on this earth to serve. When we serve others, we serve the Lord. It makes me a hero. Okay, I am a hero. All I ever want to do was serve and help others. That definitely makes you a hero in my book. Would you sign it for me? It would be my pleasure. Well, thanks for the hero lesson, Mordecai. I hope I can help others like you do. You certainly helped me. Anytime, friend. <laughs>